Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. adventures of Commander Shepard and he is on the Citadel and of course as you know this is Mass Effect 3 all been? right good huh? what concussion's almost gone good when I heard you were injured that was stupid I should have ducked when that wall came down something good has come out of all this though got new equipment sent me a set of vortex armor man summoning supplies should have messed that one up Great. Is, it, is this man following me? That's why Vortex gear costs more than I make in a year. Alright, anyhow. Let's go on inside. I think we have some crew members here. And I'd like to finish up on the Citadel so we can get back on the road. There's a war to be fought. Uh-oh, we got another assignment in the Nimbus Cluster. Do I know any of these people? No. Uh-oh. I think I know him. Joker? Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? <laughs> oh, I love these responses. Really? Um. All right, we'll say sure. Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. You deserve to be stupid. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you've got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, Shepard. Well handled. What? Is he up on the... He's floating. Okay. Alright, is there anybody else back here we need to talk to? No, everybody's waving their arms like they just don't care. Okay, what else have we got? What? It's Jack. Ugh, this sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They're dropping us into hot spots for hit and runs. I'm making sure your bosses don't get my kids killed. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Hmm. Well, keep at it. I know it's not fun, but you're doing good work. And it sounds like your students are helping. Damn right they're helping. Hell, we even saw some action on Palavin. They broke a line of those Batarian things. I think Prangley punted one into orbit. <laughs> Even Rodriguez kept her shit together. Glad to hear it. 
Also help the Turians get a few thousand civilians out safely. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. Oh, but he's gonna take Jack dancing. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. <laughs> oh, come on. That scene should have lasted longer. Right, Renegade. Is this still who is this? Joker. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. Oh, uh, but Edie's just standing there. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, anyhow. You two have fun. Alright, where are we with is Arya still here? Yes. Where are we with you? Nowhere. Look oh. who's here. Uh-oh. I hope this isn't a social visit. You still have work to do around here. All right, I think... Uh, we'll talk later. I'm sure. The only thing we have left to do is the uh, Omega DLC. I believe. All right, I don't know who else was in here. I think we've talked to everyone. I don't think we can get down to these other areas here. Alright, let's go. Alright, my next stop is going to be the Spectre office. So, this is odd. You know, it's something I just noticed. They have the Citadel Transit and they have the elevator, so you can do either or. Spectre status recognized. Please All right, the let's go to the Citadel embassies. Moment, and there, see, there's still other things that I'm supposed to do while I'm here, and now arriving at I can't the remember them all. Goodness, look at this. This hallway is filled with Turians. Let's go check in on Commander Bailey. Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. Hmm. Let's ask about his injuries. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is going to keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. All right, let's talk about the Citadel. Can this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time-consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. Let's talk about Udina. All that time you were working for Udina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead, and you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Odina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. Hmm. Let's talk about the war. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying and crying. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. 
Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. Well, it's not just a war. It's a calling. All right. Shepard's going back to work. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah. You too, Shepard. Okay, it looks like... Yeah, so Dina's office is now sealed. As it should be. I thought there was something back here. What? Cerberus ciphers. I've got our best teams working in shifts on it. But ensuring Citadel systems integrity is just going to take time. Alright, let's go on into the Spectre office. And again, as I keep saying... Why is this empty? Why are there no other Spectres? Why is Shepard the only Spectre that you see most of the time? I mean, there, there's been an exception that... Whatever that guy's name was. Who was standing outside the door. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda! Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Leng? That slippery bastard still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Ties to Cerberus? Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Um... Wow. It's Miranda. He has to be stopped. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but... I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. Okay. Well, we did get to meet with Miranda. I was hoping that would happen. Alright, let's use the Spectre Terminal. Oh my goodness, look at this. Batarian access codes. With Spectre level access codes, it's possible to bypass standard security protocols and track top-level diplomatic dispatches. The location of consoles accessed using suspect ciphers will be uploaded to the Spectre's Omni tool and highlighted for easy detection. Alright, we'll enable that. Location for Din Korlak. Volus Ambassador Din Korlak's current location is unknown. Biometric analysis does not detect him in any public location at this time. His last known position was an office suite near the human embassy. Location for Batarian patient. A Batarian patient named Gor Gorek, I think we saw him already, is located in a makeshift clinic in the temporary refuge camp at Docking Bay E-24. All right, we already have put him out of his misery. Surveillance authorization. c -Sex. Excuse me. Okay. c -Sex has requested a number of surveillance warrants in an attempt to find evidence that would incriminate Cerberus informants on the Citadel. Officers have tapped public surveillance feeds but do not have legal access to private security feeds. Spectre authorization would enable CSEC to tap into business feeds without informing civilian agencies authorized. 
Authorized civilian militia. Authorized. Medical supplies. Originally meant for occupied zones have been rerouted to the Citadel because the Reaper invasion has made delivery impossible. These supplies are currently in lockdown on the docks but can be released to Huerta Memorial Hospital under Spectre Authority. Authorized. Spectre Candidate, Caden Alenko. All right, I don't think we need any more because we, we just don't come back to this office, so... You know, if you need his biography, his dossier, I'm scrolling through it now. You know, feel free to pause and read at your leisure. Or leisure, as some people might say. All right, so there we've done with the Spectre Terminal. Oh, and we have some updates here. War assets updated. All right, so let's see. What have we got here for Spectre? Requisitions. It looks like they finally added some things. Okay. Sniper rifle, extended barrel. How much money do I have? We got plenty of money. Um, we'll go ahead and purchase that. Let's get these Rosenkov material greaves. What do they do? Oh, power recharge speed. Nice. Cerberus encryption codes. They, he was just talking about that. Let's get these all right I think that's it all right so we got the sniper rifle extended barrel 5 the Rosenkov greaves and the Cerberus encryption codes now okay we don't need to go into the firing range so I'm not seeing that these um, missions are being updated now this guy was outside the hall talking about codes this guy right here. Huh. Alright, maybe it wasn't Cerberus encryption code. So why did I buy them? What am I going to do with them? Alright, well anyway, we've got them. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's... um. I think we're done here. But Din Korlak is supposed to be in this area, isn't he? thought this door was about to open. Uh-oh. Look at that person just start. Is that a T-pose right there? No, his arms aren't extended. But it's close enough. My, my computer is struggling with all these people. that are being rendered in this game. This is a... You know, I know I'm... Oh, look! It's Samara! Shepard, I wasn't sure you'd deliberately seek me out. Why not? Do you remember when I first joined you to stop the Collectors? I swore an oath to hunt you down if I were forced to do anything dishonorable. And were you? Considering the evil we faced, your acts were acceptable within the dictates of the code. I simply request that you ask yourself if they'll remain so. Hmm. Oh, come on, Samara. Really? I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i do what I need to. If they help end this war, I'll make whatever decisions I have to. You helped me a great deal in the monastery, Shepard. This is merely advice. But I do hope you consider it. Okay, is there more? Let's talk about Justicars in the war. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Hmm, that seems bleak. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? 
The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But, following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. Okay. Let's talk about the Reapers. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such small discrepancies. But what do you think? Is that how you see it too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. Hmm. Flatterer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's ask about Falaire. Will Falaire be all right in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. No, oh, I'm glad you still have one and... You almost choked on the words, good to see her. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. Yeah, you would be dead. All right, well, good luck. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire, soon enough. Hmm, <laughs> that we will. Alright, we got some renegade. Okay, um... We're still looking for Den Korlak. Who are you? Was the Bolas ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre your business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. Um, okay. I'm ready. Get to play entries. All right, let's start with entry one. You've never been this uncooperative with us before, Ambassador. That's because you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. Has that changed? How many colonies would be gone Cerberus. if you had taken action against the Collectors? Too many. But fighting the Alliance... Must continue in order to end the war. We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. We ask that you trust us a little longer. Oh my goodness, he's in league with Cerberus too? What's going on with these people on the Citadel? Alright, let's play entry two. You people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the Council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus, it's left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't. I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. So he's been in league with Cerberus? For years? All right, let's play entry three. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. I can't go to CSEC, but Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. Oh, no, static. Damn, Cerberus has them everywhere nowadays. You gonna go 
on about them all night. Zaid. Get that car up here quick. Little bastard's even heavier than he looks. Zaid? Wait, he's working for Cerberus? Wait, he used to work. Okay, never mind. All right. Um. He said, "Wait, where am I?" <laughs> Look, what's this? A bug. This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Uh, we're still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. Hmm, okay. Got a little mini mission going on here on the Citadel. And me without my armor. Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Yes, he did. Why? Why go after your old employer, Zaid? Now you know my name all of a sudden. Hmm? Good question. Now, I think I recall they were in one of these suites. Oh, look. There's now a lock on this door. Damn, wrong door. Oh. He needs you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. Why here? He's I hear shooting. A recent acquaintance. How recent? Very. Shit. All right, I'm listening. All right, there's a lock on this door. Can't you move any faster, Shepard? What's in all that shooting? All right, this is it. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Hmm, you could have avoided this. You should have gone to CSEC if your life was in danger. And be thrown into prison? No. The things they would do to me after the damage I caused. What intel did you give Cerberus on this colony? Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn, you already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. <laughs> the Volus Gosh. bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. Um... You know what? Beat him, Zaid. <laughs> I've got... I'm going for it. All right. I tried playing nice. Maybe my friend can get you to see reason. Now wait just a moment. You mind, Zaid? It'd be a goddamn pleasure. I'll leave you to it. It'll be a while before anyone shows up for him. 
It's Aphis. Cerberus will attack a colony called Aphis for its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Take it. It's all yours, I promise. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks. All right, Renegade rules Took again. Long to spit that out. Zai, what are you doing here? Later. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. All right, we got the Volus bombing fleet and 17 Renegade. I'll tell you, Renegade rules. All right, I think we are done here anyway. He said meet him at the docks. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. So, holding area. You know, the one, the thing that I never found in any of my playthroughs is where is Garrus so that you can, like, shoot the, the bullets and stuff. Shoot you something that you shoot. Alright, where is Zaid? Excuse me, excuse me. There he is. What the hell are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. One day you chill up, Shepard. Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. And I could always use more help. I'll bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Tell you what. I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Can't promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing, I can lend a hand. All right, so we've added Zaid, and it looks like he's going to recruit some of the Blue Suns. As you may or may not remember, he founded the Blue Suns. Oh, I thought we could uh, see that door back there, but I can't get to it. Okay. All right. Well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I'm gonna have to look offline and see if I can find out where Garrus is before we leave the Citadel. Um, all right, so until next time, this is Hill, and I'm out.